You're listening to Bark and Wag's 15-Minute Vet Talk. Each week, your host, Polly Requa, interviews veterinarians and individuals in the pet industry from across the nation answering pet questions. Bark and Wag podcast is produced weekly for your enjoyment, and show notes can be found at BarkandWag.com under the podcast tab. That's B-A-R-K-N-W-A-G.com. Please remember to subscribe to Bark and Wag 15-Minute Vet Talk. Welcome to Bark and Wag 15-Minute Vet Talk. I'm your host, Polly Requa. Today, we're talking to Sarah Jacobson, a local artist from Madison, Wisconsin. Welcome, Sarah. Hi, Polly. Thanks for featuring me. It's great to have you on the show. I understand you're drawing and painting clients' portraits of their dogs. How did this begin? Uh, yeah, so yes, I do do oil paintings. Um, I paint actually a variety of subjects, I, uh, including landscapes and animals. But more recently, I've been doing portraits of dogs. Um, I started painting a few years ago. I had requests mostly from families of hunters who wanted my paintings as gifts for their husbands or fathers. And I was asked to do a hunting painting for an auction, um, uh, to be auctioned at a fundraising event. And just from there, I just received more requests. Uh, I had a friend in England who asked me to paint her rescue dog. And then um, I posted it. And then after that, I just started getting more and more people asking me to paint their pets, uh, specifically dogs. Oh, that's awesome. And so is it based on a photo or do you actually go to a person's home and take photo, you know, take your own photos or how, how does it work? Yeah. So, um, as I said, like I've had people from England and all over, so yeah, it's not possible yeah. for me to go there. So sure. I like to capture the animals, like their own unique personality. And, um, so for that reason, I, um, I asked for th- at least three paintings. I mean, sorry, photos, photos. Of the animal. And then just having a photo of the, the animal in like a different setting. So whether they're sleeping or they're playing or begging. And then that just helps me have more of an idea of their personality so I can capture it in the painting. And do you offer different sizes? Yes, I do. So um, I don't really have a set price because it just depends on, like I've had requests for oval paintings or oblong square of different sizes. So uh, it just kind of depends on what, the person wants and also like how long it takes me to you know some subjects are harder than others <laughs> yeah sure sure and you use is it a drawing or a painting I mean it's, it's oil painting oil painting yeah. okay great do you do more than one dog I mean can, are you able we, if someone had two dogs a cat and a goat <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely in fact recently I just did a painting for my mother um, I painted all of our childhood pets on one painting so I had like three cats on there and a dog that we all had at different times when I was growing up and I just put them all together in one painting so I kind of make like a nice gift for her (laughs) oh that's awesome yeah (laughs) what does an owner need to know to hire you to paint their dog or their animals so as I said this kind of started as a hobby so I'm just you know beginning to start doing more and more paintings for people um so I don't actually have a website as such right now I hope to in the near future However, I do have a Facebook page. It's called Sarah's Pet Portraits and More. And people can go on there and they can see examples of the work that I do. And at this time, they can reach they can reach me via that page. Or they can reach me at my email, which I can give you. is um, It's wesarah76 at hotmail.com. Okay, and I'll also put all that information in our our notes and we'll connect with you on Facebook. And once the podcast comes out, then you can push this out as well. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, thank you for being our guest today. Is there anything else you'd like to tell our listeners? I would be happy to paint your pets. (laughs) And it's something I love to do. And um, yeah, it's very rewarding for me. So yeah. Oh, great. Well, I look forward to having you back on the show. Great. Thank you so much, Polly. Thank you. Thank you for listening to Bark and Wag's 15 minute vet talk. If you like what you just heard, we hope you'll pass along our web address, www.barkandwag.com, to your friends and other pet owners. Have a pressing question for a veterinarian? Ask your question at barkandwag.com under the podcast tab. This has been a KFR production. Join us next time for another edition of Bark and Wag's 15-Minute Vet Talk.